The International Criminal Court is seeking arrest warrants for Hamas and Israeli leadership. Charges are being leveled on both sides for Hamas's violent terrorist attack on Israel on October 7th and for Israel's retaliation on Hamas militants in Gaza. Laura Aguirre introduces us to the prosecutor that's taking action against both sides. October 7th, 2023. The Hamas terror attack that ignited a war and a catastrophic humanitarian crisis. Now an international prosecutor is taking action against both sides. We've applied for warrants to the pretrial chamber of the International Criminal Court in relation to three individuals uh, that are Hamas members. The charges are extermination, uh, murder, uh, taking of hostages, uh, rape and sexual assault in detention. In a statement Monday, Hamas said it strongly condemns the ICC prosecutor's attempts to equate victims with aggressors by issuing arrest warrants against Palestinian resistance leaders. We have a variety of evidence to support the applications that we've submitted to the judges. The ICC prosecutor is also going after Israeli leadership. We'll apply for warrants for Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu and also Minister of Defense Gallant for the crimes of causing s s uh, extermination causing uh, starvation as a method of war, including the denial of humanitarian relief supplies, uh, deliberately targeting civilians in, in conflict. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called the application for warrants a political outrage and says the war will continue until the hostages are released and Hamas is destroyed. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Monday afternoon the U.S. fundamentally rejects the ICC prosecutor's actions, adding that the ICC doesn't have jurisdiction in this matter. The arrest applications now go to a panel of ICC judges for consideration. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting.